Hey guys, and welcome to another GG Doom Builder um, episode. Um, so, sorry it's been a while. Um, I went on holiday and then I came back and I was just like, I've got to get around to making a video. And then I didn't get around to making a video, so that's basically what happened. Anyway, um, today I'm going to be covering key cards and locked doors. The same thing, sort of, in a way. Except not all locked doors require a keycard, some require a button. Anyway, um, so if my mouse would kindly select this, um, this is just going to make map 1, and I'm going to make a very, very small sector, sort of line up with this. Up. Okay, I'll zoom in. I'll just leave that as it is. It doesn't have to be perfect now, does it? Anyway, zoom in, just place a player start. I'm going to sort of add a puzzle aspect to this. I know it's not majorly necessary, but it's not going to be a difficult puzzle. You literally just walk through a couple doors. So, say, there's a door. That is not a door, <laughs> that is a player. Okay. We'll have a door here, 128 by 32, typical door. And I forgot the new update stops you from doing that. Okay, we'll add a, another room, smaller. And that is literally that. Now, I'm just going to mention, and a lot of people will definitely know this, because a door is literally the most basic thing you'll ever learn, and you probably wouldn't really be map making yet if you didn't know how to make a door but if you've just learnt to make a door and you're having trouble with it like I was a big problem I had once was that for some reason the floor would lift up and go down with the door and sometimes the door just wouldn't open the door not opening is if you flip the line this little dash thing here sort of faces in towards the door and that means the line is facing that way it can only be activated from this side and so you have to have both these little dashes facing outwards so the line can be activated from the outside and then you just turn it into a door so player presses use we'll just use a, we'll just use a generic door because it's easier no, this one is not going to be locked. This one is going to be locked. But, not by any keys. Not by any keys at all. So what we'll do is just leave that as it is. And we'll make another room over here with a door leading to it. Insert. Make this one a bit smaller, just to save time, and just so that the video doesn't drag on. Um, so, what we're going to do here now is we're going to have a red door, just a door locked by a red keycard, obviously. Player presses use. And, door generic lock, and set to a red keycard. Okay. <coughs> now, first things first, I've realised I've already messed up. This doesn't need to be set as a door at all. Set it to zero. Press OK. And just clear that selection. Go into 3D mode. And just drag this down. Same with this door. Uh, we'll just select the most generic door there is. Copy that and paste it. Um, <coughs> all right. So basically, what we're going to have is a little button on the wall uh, somewhere in this room. I'll probably have it like here. I think it's 64. It's something like that. It doesn't really matter too much if the texture is aligned for the sake of the video, but. <coughs> 
when you're actually making and releasing a level, make sure that the button is put on the right size texture and is properly aligned. Um, so we just want to go switches. And I'll just insert any texture because really matching textures again for the sake of the video and saving time does not matter whatsoever. To align textures you can just use the arrow keys in 3D mode. Just right, that's fine. Now we'll come out of 3D mode, select this button, set it to player presses use, door generic, <coughs> set the sector tag to 1, and voila, that is literally it. Then you go. So go into sector mode by pressing S, right click this, set the tag to 1 and that literally just links this line with this sector and turns this into a door by pressing that button and you could even go the extra step, go into scripts script 1 And then just do print. I keep doing that. You can do a extra a whole bunch of, of course, you can do a whole bunch of extra stuff um, with the script. So that um, like when you activate the button. It doesn't actually matter at all, but like when the button's activated, the script is disabled and stuff. You don't need to do that because with this, when you press the button, the door opens straight away. It doesn't unlock the door; it just makes it open. It just opens it. And so, what you want to do is go to script, script execute, script one, done. And finally, put the red key in here. And we'll just hit, we'll just um, hit play, jump into the map, test it, and just um, see. You need a red key card to open this door, and then this door is opened elsewhere. Head to this button. This door opens. Grab this. It might be a good idea to just make these doors and set them as. No, it opens. Might be an idea to actually set this door. This is a mistake that I've just made to open only and not generic because if it closes whilst the player is still inside, then they're not going to be able to open it from the other side. So just set this to door open. Set the sector tag to one again, and you're done. Now another thing you can do quickly and again you probably all know this because it's a very basic thing for making doors but I always do this you just set these textures here on the sides to lower unpegged on both the doors I know I could do this from the grid mode but I just developed a habit recently of doing it in 3D mode and basically what that would do is if you test the map I forgot I need to open the button. See this texture now doesn't slide up with the door. It just stays in place. And it's a lot easier. And that is making how you make like locked doors and keycard based doors in GZ Doom Builder. Um Thank you all for watching. I hope you found this video <coughs> really helpful. <coughs> if you've got any ideas, any more ideas for other videos, please leave a suggestion in the comments. I'll happily do it as long as it's related to the series, obviously. GZ Doom Builder, how to do something, or like even more questions on map design. I'll happily do more explanations on map design and more tutorials on 
how to do stuff in GZ Doom Builder that you guys want to see. So if you have any suggestions, again, just leave it in the comments, ask me, I'll happily do it. And this video was suggested by someone else, actually. Um, it wasn't one of my ideas. His name is Cairo, and he suggested a whole bunch of videos in the comments. And so I'm going to be doing, going through the, the list he left me and doing each and every one of those. So, yeah, anyway, keep that in mind. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.